Okay, so I prepped and primed this beautiful face already. Alright, uh, hold on. Stop the break. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, so I've already prepped and primed her face, hydrated, everything looks great. I'm gonna go straight in. I'm not gonna do any um, hard eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go straight in with her concealer. Her no, I'm gonna start with the eyebrows first. Eyebrows important. So we're gonna start there first. We're gonna comb these caterpillars out. <laughs> I'm just kidding, she don't got caterpillars. Okay, and soften there. I'm gonna soft around. So here you go. We're gonna start with her eyebrows. And for me, I like a really, really natural look. We're just gonna give her a tint because she already has a great foundation, great structure. She just needs a little filling in. And I already primed her face. I used Smashbox Photo Finish. That seems to be my favorite right now. I haven't tried any new ones, so if you guys know any recommendations, leave them in the comments below. And just so you know, I'm uh, I'm dry skinned. And I know you're not supposed to like be all up in your client's face, but this is my niece. I can do what I want with her face, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I will be all up in her, her face. And today, actually, the reason why I'm doing her makeup, she's gonna do her graduation photos. So that's gonna be super fun and exciting. She's gonna do it with her cousin. And this is a great, I'm gonna do like a look where you can actually wear it for the daytime. And the focus that I uh, plan going for is her eyes without being party, you know, nighttime look, if that makes sense. So we're gonna glam up her eyes without trying too hard. Okay, so now that, I'm gonna go back to the brows. I just kinda like to just do a little sketch out first. I'm gonna use the Lancome, Lancome, whatever you wanna say. Hold on a minute. The Lancome and the Born This Way, these two I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna go ahead and maybe that one actually might be perfect, but I'm gonna just do it. Okay. And what I like to do is just lightly go in and dot her face and I actually like as I do this I like to tap in because this is automatically going to bring the warmth from my finger to her face and it's just going to melt smoothly and now I'm going to go in with the booty blender <laughs> I'm just kidding the booty blender and we're just gonna go right in. Why do you wanna laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's off this one, you're like. 
But now I'm just gonna just go in a little more. We're gonna get this little this little cute guy here, cover him up. He can't be uh, the center of attention. It's cat's day today. <laughs> Look at him, he's trying to be like, what about me? You know? <laughs> it's cat's day today, so we have to make sure she is the focal point. And I'm just doing this very light-handed. I am not going in crazy with this foundation. I want her skin to look absolutely just gorgeous. Like it's her skin, you know? But better. <laughs> Good thing I waited, it's already crumbling up. It's a little lighter right there. Okay. So now that her face is complete, I'm almost done. <laughs> That's crazy. So we're going to go in with concealer. That's really important to me. Concealer is your best friend, ladies. If you don't know what that is, I highly recommend you hit to it. So I'm going to go in with heart shape I know a lot of people are not liking it nowadays I'm gonna go with light light neutral um, but I personally love it I still like it till this day look up for me and we're just going to highlight her face I like to use a few different concealers just to make everything blend nicely and I might even go with just a tad bit light. Just a little bit, just not too much. And, but this is definitely like a secret of mine. I like mix all my, um, she looks like a warrior. I mix all, thank you. I mix all my concealers together and this is what makes my highlighted area look absolutely amazing can you see me without being open to your eyelashes <laughs> and I like to bring the highlight all the way down to the cheeks so it makes her cheeks look fuller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my phone. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I thought it was my phone on silent. What's going on? <laughs> and the products that I'm using is this Physician's Formula. This is my go-to makeup. Um, it has just your neutrals. We have three different browns going on. We have a warm tone, cool tone, and then you got your brow. And then I'm going to go in with the Hoola just very lightly. And this is going to give you that no makeup makeup look. If you guys don't have you, if you haven't tried it, you need to. So we're just going to go in with this bone color and just go in really lightly. And for me, what I specialize is natural. And it's perfect for a senior graduation because who really wants to look like, you know, a cake face? When you look back 20 years from now, you're gonna be like, what was I thinking? I look like Rosa. <laughs> uh, if you guys know who Rosa is, shout out to him. Ooh, ooh. But yeah. So that's that's one thing for me, especially at her age. How old are you, Mama? 18. 18. Yeah, she's 18, but she just in like she's 21. <laughs> uh, you know, she's 18. You want to just still keep it 
fun and youthful i think that's the goal and you want to keep it nice and youthful i think that's the absolute um important thing because let me tell you, you when you're her age you want to embrace your young youthful self because when you get my age you're gonna wish you were 18 again and you're not you're not gonna enjoy the benefits of being young so that's just my tip for you girls if you guys are planning on you know turning 30 right away so <laughs> you know keep it light keep it simple you can still dress it up and you know be cute but don't overdo it so now we're gonna go in with this brown it's like a warm tone we're going with a warm tone this one right here sorry my lighting's a little too light but just work with me and we're just gonna tap it just right on her lid really lightly and we're gonna um i'm gonna put her a cute lippy from huda that's my go-to all-time favorite and we're gonna just do it really lightly and we're not gonna try too hard we're just gonna brush it really light on the lids and this is gonna bring back that warmth to her skin and then now we're gonna go in with the huda and we're just gonna warm that up just a tad bit more you see the little warmth that it gave her without looking like she's going to the club at uh you know in the morning at 10 a.m and we're just gonna warm that up and this is perfect for senior graduation pictures that I find very lovely so now we're just gonna actually go in and bronze her face up with the Huda Beauty as well and this is just gonna give her just a tad bit um, color back into her face as I um, you know added the foundation and all that good stuff and we're not gonna go in all crazy. We're just gonna just give her color. And I'm just very lightly going right under her cheekbones. She has extremely high cheekbones. So we're just gonna go right in and just tap. I like this because it just, and we're gonna go under her chin. It just gives her enough color because you don't wanna overbear her face. Now we're going to go in with a little bit of blush. I don't like to do this too much, but I will on picture day like this occasion. And I'm going to go in with this Morphe palette. And we're going to go in with the medium one. Not too light, not too dark. Keep it chill. Just go right in and give her a cute little like, oh my god, it's spring type of look. You know? <laughs> She always laughs at me for saying these silly things, but we're just gonna go right in and just kiss her face. Like, you know, she just looks like back in the days, you know, when life was good and everything was nice and happy and smooth and you didn't have to worry about life that much. And you're just gonna give her just a little bit of color. So now that we have that in place, I'm going to go ahead and spray her face again. This is just a little bit. This is just going to give her everything melt blendly, you know, nice and pretty. I'm going to go in with her eyebrows and set them in place. And then we're going to bring back um, a little character to her face by coloring in her beauty marks. I think that's really important when you as a woman um, are putting adding foundation you kind of lose the character of your face when you put all this foundation on and when you have natural beauty marks I think you need to come back and accentuate them. So that's what we're gonna do and and you don't have to go in all crazy we're just gonna do it lightly because and, and these are not gonna and girls these are not gonna be false beauty marks these are her real beauty marks I will go ahead and show you, but we're just gonna recolor them. That's what we're gonna do right now. Same. So when you do the foundation and um, you know you put it all over your face, you take away characters such as her beauty marks. So we're gonna go back in and we're just gonna tap. And you can get any like um, eyeliner, brown, pencil. Some beauty marks are darker than others, but I'm just gonna go lightly with the brown because it gives it a more of a natural look. 
And the beauty marks that we covered, we're just going to go ahead and bring them back to life. And some people, what they like to do is, you know, they'll get a tissue and they'll wipe off the foundation. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to just tap them right in. And you see how it brings it out just a little bit. And that's going to be perfect for taking pictures. You can see everything instead of covering everything up. Remember, we want to incent in. How do you say accentuate? <laughs> no, accentuate. Oh. And we want to accentuate her beauty, not hide it. Okay, perfect. Your face looks amazing. So now what we're going to go, what we're going to do is we're going to go in straight with the lip liner. This, my friends, is a must. You have to find that perfect lip color that is going to just make you look so pretty and fun. You want your face to look when you're taking graduation pictures, this is my go-to lip. It's from NYX. Hold on. Jesus. There you go. So this is her, um, the, lips, the lip liner that I'm using is from NYX. I'm not going to tell you guys which one because then you're going to go hound it. And there's not going to be any more <laughs> for me, okay? So you guys can just kind of just figure that out for yourself, okay? So we're going to go ahead and line her lips so you're just gonna there you go oh girl you should have <laughs> you did <laughs> fully oh you still cut that oh she has a little diamond on her um, her teeth that's so cute the homegirl should exfoliate. <laughs> nah, I can't do this. You gotta go exfoliate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut, cut, cut. You need to you need exfoliate that skin. Okay, so we're back in business, you guys. She had to exfoliate her lips. <laughs> he, should, he should be scared of Ray Ray. Ray Ray, you're gonna make him mad. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, so now we're gonna go in with that lip liner I'm not gonna tell you about. And we are going to just lip line her mouth. And for me, I like to just, I like to round out her lips. I think that best suits her. Okay, so now we're just gonna put some chapstick on there. Just to, you know, oh, not that one, that's clear. <laughs> just to, um, or actually, hold on, wait, we gotta do this lipstick here. And this is gonna make her lips look super cute. I'm gonna use the Sugar Nude, and it has a, a tint color, but this is just gonna keep her lips moisturized until her photo shoot, which is gonna be hours from now. Okay. So now the fun part, we are going to do the eyelashes now. Real quick, I'm just gonna spruce up her eyes a bit. We're going to use a brow gel. This is in blonde. 
I know this is not her color, so that's why we're going to do it very lightly because I wanted to make sure that her eyebrows stay in place. And that's just going to set them in place and that's exactly where we want them at. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare her eyelashes because they're not just normal eyelashes. I like to take a couple of them and then mix and match them so that it would accentuate her eyes. So I'll be back. So this is the after look. She looks so pretty, you guys. Come closer. This is the makeup. Um, it's super simple, natural. It's like your no makeup makeup look. Open your eyes. Super pretty. All right, bye. Phew.